Hello everybody, today I will be walking you through the challenge questions in Edit Excel's Pure Year 1 textbook, Chapter 1. Okay, our first question is from exercise 1b and it says expand and simplify x plus y to the power of 4. Okay, so we could write out x plus y four times and do the expansion one by one. But I think an easier way to do this is to spot that x plus y to the power of four is equal to x plus y squared or squared. And that means you will only have to expand brackets twice, which is quite nice. Okay, so we know that x plus y squared is gonna be x squared plus two xy plus y squared. And then we square that. And squaring this, we can write out the brackets again to make it easier for us. x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And expanding this out, we get, so multiplying everything by x squared first, we get x to the power of 4 um, plus 2x cubed y plus x squared y squared plus 2x cubed y plus uh, 4x squared y squared plus 2xy cubed and then plus x squared y squared plus uh, 2xy y cubed and finally plus y to the power of 4. And collecting terms here, so we've got 1x to the power of 4, we've got 2x cubed y and 2x cubed y again, so plus 4x cubed y. We've got x squared y squared, 4x squared y squared, and x squared y squared, so that's 6x squared y squared. Uh, we've got 2xy cubed and 2xy cubed again, so that is 4xy cubed, and finally y to the power of 4 in the end. And that is our final answer. Uh, later on in the textbook, you will come across something called binomial expansion. And this will give you an easy way to do questions like this if it ever comes up in the exam. It's much easier to use binomial expansion than going through a long process of expanding out all these brackets. But that's for later on. Okay, moving on to this question from exercise 1c. Write 4x to the power of 4 minus 13x squared plus 9 as the product of four linear factors. Okay, so the first thing we can do is write 4x to the power of 4 as 4x squared squared minus 13x squared plus 9. And that will be able that will allow us to um, treat this as a quadratic in terms of x squared. And so to factorize this, you can use many methods, but the method I like to use is finding two numbers which multiply to 4 times 9 which is 36 and add to the x term or in this term, in this case x squared so that is minus 13 and the two numbers here are going to be minus 4 and minus 9 so we can split up the minus 13 x squared into minus 4 x squared and minus 9 x squared so we get so that's equal to 4 x squared squared minus 4 x squared minus 9 x squared Minus, uh, plus 9, sorry, and that is equal to 4x squared into x squared minus uh, x squared minus 1 and minus 9 into x squared minus 1. And you see we've got a common factor of x squared minus 1, which we can take out, and we're left with 4x squared minus 9. Now we're not quite there yet, we need four linear factors, so we can spot that these two. Uh, brackets are both differences of two squares so we can write this as x plus 1 x minus 1 and 2 x plus 3 and 2 x minus 3 and that is four linear factors okay and the final question for mixed exercise 1 part a simplify the square root of a plus the square root of b times the square root of a minus the square root of b. Okay, so we can notice that this is just a difference of two squares. 
So we'll get the square root of a squared minus the square root of b squared, which is just a minus b. Okay, part b. Hence, show that 1 over the square root of 1 plus the square root of 2 plus 1 over the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 plus and so on, all the way up until 1 over the square root of 24 plus the square root of 25 is equal to 4. So, we can see that they've used the word hence in the question, so that's probably asking us to use part A to help us answer this. So, one way we can use part A is by multiplying the top and bottom of these fractions by square root of a minus the square root of b. So for the first fraction, that's 1 over the square root of 1 plus the square root of 2. We can multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 1 minus the square root of 2 and see if that helps us. So we get on the top, square root of 1 minus the square root of 2, and on the bottom we get 1 minus 2, which is just minus 1. So here, the, uh, this simplifies down to the square root of 2 minus the square root of 1. And that will be the same for all these fractions here. So we get this is equal to the square root of 2 minus the square root of 1 plus the square root of uh, 3 minus the square root of 2 plus the square root of uh, 4 minus the square root of 3 and so on and so on and so on. So we get to square root of 24 minus the square root of 23 plus the square root of 25 minus the square root of 24, finally. And we can see that loads of these uh, square roots will cancel, so the root 2 will cancel with the minus root 2. The root 3 will cancel with the minus root 3 over here. And then the, um, the square root of 4 here will cancel with the minus square root of 4, and so on, so on, so on. All these terms here will cancel. And then the square root of 24 here will cancel with the minus square root of 24 here. The minus square root of 23 here will cancel with the positive square root of 23 somewhere here. And at the end, we're just left with the minus square root of 1 and the, 20, the square root of 25. So this is equal to the square root of 25 minus the square root of 1, which is just 5 minus 1, which is 4, as required. And that is the end of the challenge questions in chapter 1.